So on this system I have app image D running, a little daemon that watches the system for app images and integrates them with the desktop system. Which means that if I go to the application launcher I can see many applications that are not actually installed in the base system but I just put in as app images. For example this one here is an app image I can launch it. You can't notice that it's not really installed in the system. What's really cool about this is that everything happens on demand, which means we can simply go to the web and download an app image and it is then integrated into the system automatically. So let's Google for LeafPad app image. This is a little test application that I'm using. Uh, I have provided an app image here on this page. Let's go to the download tab and let's download this LeafPad app image here save file. File is being downloaded. So and basically that's it. Now the system has detected that LeafPad is there and has integrated it into the menu. Which means if we search here for LeafPad it should show up. LeafPad. There it is. LeafPad and the application runs. That was easy, right? We didn't have to install anything or make something executable. Everything happened in the background automatically. And in the future I will also integrate signature checking that applications for which no known signature is found will automatically run in a sandbox and cannot harm the system. Now what's also cool is that down here in this bar we can right click and there is a new option here called update. Let's click that. What happens is normally it should now launch the program app image update which you need to have on your path. So let's make sure that app image update is actually on the path here. So let's go to console. This is annoying here. Why is always this dolphin stuff coming up? So uh, console Let's see, app image update. Ah, that's why huh, I didn't name it correctly. So let me fix that real quick. What I need to do is sudo move user local bin app image update to user local bin app image update. Now the app image update executable is on my path and now let's go down here let's right click go to update it launches sure enough app image update it verifies that it is the latest version and it has now updated the application we can also launch it that was really easy wasn't it so I'm working on this in the app image tools project Eventually this will go into the main app image kit. If you are interested in collaborating, please come to this page. I'm showing it here. GitHub.com Pro Bono PD App Image Tool. This is where all this development happens at the moment. And the little daemon that I just showed is called App Image D. By the way, this is how it looks on Ubuntu, so it works on different desktops as well. Feel free to try it out. I currently recommend Linux Live systems so that you cannot mess up your system. Um, and yeah, let me know how it goes. Oh, by the way, if I remove the application, all the desktop integration is removed again as well. Let me show this real quick. So if I go back to, let's see, let me open a window here. If I go to my downloads directory, there is LeafPad. Let's remove that, move to trash. Yes, so now AppImageD is unregistering the application and it should be removed from the menu. If I now search for LeafPad, LeafPad, as you can see, it's gone.